guys, welcome back to GI Players Halloween Season. I'm Player One Anthony TZ, and today we bring to you a classic Konami game, Castlevania. As you guys probably remember, we have played a Castlevania game once before. It was Castlevania Bloodlines on the Sega Genesis, and uh, I kind of wish I could go back to that, but I don't have my Genesis with me at the moment, so I'm playing the original Castlevania. So, yay! Some old Konami goodness. Raise the volume on my TV because I can't hear a single thing. Man, were the game like volumes just not that loud back in the day? Ow. Okay, there we go. Took me a minute to remember the buttons. I'm playing this on my Wii U. <laughs> okay. It's nice that you get uh, both power-ups for the whip right off the bat when you start this game. Alright, and we got a dagger. And the only way to use our bonus weapons is if we push up and then attack. Zombers! Now I will say this. One thing that does bug me about the uh, freaking Castlevania games is that uh, they use hearts as a way of like measuring how many weapons you can use, or weapon magic. That's stupid, in my opinion. It makes me think that I'm picking up health. That's kind of what I liked about uh, Bloodlines a little bit. It wasn't hearts, it was like energy crystals. Kind of made sense when you think about it. Wow, that dog just totally missed. Damn, you just drop like a sack of potatoes when you go downstairs, and not in the normal way. Ow! Down, Fido! Should probably go up there and get those candles, too. Yeah, I've been, like, actually playing uh, Castlevania 1, 3... Okay, those are probably the only two. No, I've also played four a little bit, and I went back to playing uh, Bloodlines a little bit in my own spare free time not too long ago. Just getting myself into like Castlevania's mood and stuff like that. Because I definitely wanted to play that this year. It was definitely a game I wanted to play for Halloween season. And it looks like not too long ago it was announced that uh, Castlevania, the uh, Castlevania Game Boy Advance games was actually going to be... Uh, downloadable on Switch and stuff, which kind of makes me feel awkward considering I b just bought them on my Wii U like the other day. I was like, oh yay, I got these uh, Game Boy Advance Castlevania games. There's probably no other way we're going to be able to play those. And then that announcement came and I was like, are you kidding me? Oh yeah, well, just more, uh, just, just other ways of uh, playing Castlevania. Now that's stuck up there. Be gone, bats! Wait, wait, wait. Let's get that ham. It is not a chicken. As many people think it is. I was actually informed that it was a ham. I will say this. These guys look nowhere near as intimidating as they did back in Bloodlines. And I gotta say, Bloodlines did a good job of recreating the uh, intro to Dracula's castle. Here we go. Oh hey, we got the stopwatch. I didn't even realize that we picked that up. Take that, bat! Taste the power of the Holy Cross! Dumb zombie. I never really understood what that was. I think it's an invincibility. Ooh, I want that axe. Alright, so we should be coming up on our first boss. There it is. It's a giant bat. What is... I honestly don't understand what that is. What that big two is. The Roman numeral two. All I know is this thing 
gives Golbat a bit of a run for its money for having a big open mouth for a bat. Actually, Golbat's mouth is way bigger. I don't know what I'm talking about. Throw thy axe! Get thy orb and booyah! Well, we beat that a lot faster than I thought we were. And it's from all the practice I've been doing. Lord knows I died a good couple of times when I first played this game. Oh god, my eye. I don't know why it's like a little twitchy at the moment. Now, I don't doubt that we will definitely be dying in this place. Ow. I mean, see what I mean? Like, we rarely run into any health food items, and I didn't grow up with Nintendo Power or this game, so I don't know where all the frickin' hams are. Or pork legs, or whatever the hell they were called. I just know that it was pork and not chicken. Try this weapon out. Take that! My cross boomerang! At least I believe it's supposed to be a cross. When the outback gets a little on the holy side. Uh, should be something right here, yeah. And this is where we get introduced to the Medusa heads. They're annoying, a little bit, but it's not like you can't dodge them. Just gotta get the rhythm down. There we go. Ah, man, I wanted to keep my freaking cross. Ooh, that's a big heart. Ow. Kinda hoping you would go a little bit farther back. Crap, I hate this part. No, I hate this part because you can freaking die. Thanks to Medusa Head bullshit. Hey, I actually got the Medusa Head and the candles at the same time. Ah, you bastard. I was expecting you to go lower. Where'd they go? I mean, I'm okay that they're not here at the moment, but I don't think they were supposed to disappear at that moment yet. How many knives does it take to kill you? Okay, just a couple. All right. My whip is fully extended. Is that a euphemism? Oh God. Okay. Oh no, okay, cool. They didn't knock me out. All right. No, 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 okay. I'm okay with this. Alright, I thought that was something else. Wow, well, get it. I'm still not the best at aiming this freaking whip. Why is this not getting destroyed? There we go. Just a heart. There we go, at least it was down to my level. Alright, no secrets there. You'd think there would be something there. There we go! That's where it was. We can now stop time for a moment. Might as well use that now, because there will be Medusa heads. Speaking of the head... Why is there so many of them? Should they just be called Gorgon heads or something like that? I mean, I get they're supposed to be, like, specifically Medusa's head, but... Medusa was only one being. There's a shit ton of Gorgons! Alright, don't want to get squished. That will still kill me. Like that. How many lives do I have? I still got one life left. That's okay. Wow, it's still almost 10 minutes. Alright. Go, 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 gadget. Damn it! 
Alright, tell you what, if I get a game over right now, then I will end the episode and get back to this spot. Wait for it to go down. Alright, and go, 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 go. Alright, wait for that one. Just kinda hoping that would be the next piece. Oh, the ghosty ghost. Haha, I got my next piece. Again, what the heck is that? I may be somewhat still fairly new to the Castlevania series, but what is up with the Roman numeral 2 thing? Hey, freaking A. Is either jump straight up or do the freaking arc. I remember these things being a lot more terrifying in Bloodlines. Because not only did you have to deal with three heads, but they would also rotate towards you. Although this might be a little bit more difficult. Alright, wait for it to shoot more. Two. There should have been three right there. One, two. Okay. Yeah, you're definitely gonna get hit here. And they take a lot of hits that freaking die. Meanwhile, in freaking bloodlines, they just take three per head. How about the ghost? And up we go. Seriously, who thought it would be a good idea to use hearts as your energy meter? Be nice if that popped up when there was more than just one enemy on screen. Alright, next boss is Medusa, I believe. And the first time I faced this boss, I freaking beat her. Just because by crouching. Right here. Although I think I had a weapon at the time, too. Whoop! You were not supposed to see that. I just squeezed my controller a little bit. Fairly a very easy boss. I mean, seriously, it's not like she goes up above or anything like that, or at least not when I've fought her. And that is literally the second time I've ever fought that boss. Alright, and we will do this episode, or this level I mean, next time! We will play my least favorite level in this game. See y'all soon!